Good morning and welcome to the Task Morning Show. Here are the latest updates from the South Net of Oman. His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq presided over a meeting of the Council of Ministers at Hisna al Shumuk in the Vilayat of Mana. During his meeting, His Majesty the Sultan reviewed local, regional, and international conditions. On the domestic front, His Majesty the Sultan expressed his satisfaction over the government's efforts in dealing with the COVID 19 pandemic. His Majesty also gave directives to accord attention to various aspects that serve the interests of the country and its citizens. The public prosecution in Oman has warned that forging bank cards by any means is a punishable offence by imprisonment for a period of six months with a fine of 1,000 Omani rials or both. Forging a financial card, fabricating or manufacturing devices or materials that facilitate the same, or seizing data from financial cards, facilitating others to acquire such data, or even using the internet and other means of technology to illegally access financial data is a punishable offence in Oman. The Public Authority for Water will begin maintenance and improvements of the desalination plant in Kuryev on Thursday. Maintenance work will also be carried out for the main water supply line from the Kuryat desalination plant to Muscat Governorate. The work is expected to continue for 72 hours from 6 a.m. on Thursday, the 11th of March, to Saturday, the 13th of March. The aim is called upon the lights that receive water supply from the desalination plant to rationalize and conserve water as well as to fill their rooftop tanks during the maintenance period. Oman Civil Aviation Authority has announced that the Boeing 737 MAX aircraft will be allowed back into service in the Sultanate. In March of 2019, the Civil Aviation Authority had suspended 737 MAX aircraft from operating in the Sultanate following a fatal crash in Ethiopia involving the US plane maker's latest model. National airline Oman Air's fleet includes five 737 MAX aircrafts. However, the Civil Aviation Authority has confirmed that it will only authorize Oman Air to re-operate these aircrafts after all necessary modifications and training have been completed. Follow the Arabian stories for the latest updates.